feel good news. One. Team Patriot bands together wounded vets to serve others through disaster relief. Wounded veterans who received help and healing wanted to serve again, and that's how Team Patriot got started. Team Patriot volunteers, veterans who attended Operation Heal Our Patriots, put on by Evangelist Franklin Graham's group since 2012, helped rebuild and repair homes damaged by Hurricane Harvey this past week in Pearland and Rockport, Texas. It's amazing to see how these veterans who have received help are now helping others, said Graham, whose son Edward was wounded while on active duty in Iraq in 2007. They fought for our country overseas and now they're building up our country at home. These veterans truly are our heroes. They deserve our deepest respect and gratitude. Today, the father and son, a West Point graduate and Army Ranger who was wounded by shrapnel in his arms, leg, and back, both work with Samaritan's Purse and are heavily invested in helping fellow military families heal and thrive. Graham said, The injuries that these veterans face are extraordinarily painful, but I believe we are seeing how the love of God is stronger than anything. He's the one who's bringing marriages and families back together. He's the one who's leading these soldiers to give back like this. One of those serving this week, Robert Bogus III, who was a sergeant in the Marine Corps, said, it's given him new life, new purpose, and a new sense of filling a void in assisting others. Bogus sustained a double traumatic brain injury, post-traumatic stress disorder, and spinal injuries after an explosion destroyed his vehicle during a deployment in Iraq. He was told he'd never walk again. Bogus, Determined to fight back, made a remarkable recovery, going from being bedridden to a wheelchair, and then a walker, and eventually walking again. But he was left with emotional scars that were interfering with his personal life. On the brink of divorce from his wife, Hillary, the two attended Operation Heal Our Patriots in 2014 in Alaska, which helped save their marriage. And today, he was able to give back. Robert Bogus III said, when I think about Team Patriot, it's a new life for me. It's a new purpose. It's a new sense of filling a void in assisting others. I still personally want to serve those around me, and Jesus said, I come to serve, but not to be served. Being able to serve others in the community, it gives me a sense of purpose again, he said. Being in the armed forces is one thing that I wanted to be a part of, but to be able to come home and still be a part of this and still be considered an asset to someone else, it still gives me that sense of pleasure and comfort. Through an ongoing aftercare program, Samaritan's Purse continues to encourage and equip military couples by providing resources, crisis care, and prayer support. Team Patriot is a new initiative of Samaritan's Purse and it builds on the aftercare program by giving wounded veterans and their spouses an opportunity to give back through U.S. disaster relief. Number two, this is a story about Amy, a six-year-old girl who was ripped from her mother's arms by a gang of masked men outside of school in South Africa, and she has now been safely reunited with her family. And the family of six-year-old Amy Lee de Yacha is breathing a sigh of relief this evening. The great R pupil is back home a day after she was kidnapped in front of her school in Thunderbell Park. Mia Spiss has been following the story for us. She joins us now live from the newsroom. So Mia, you visited Amy Lee's family earlier today. How is she doing? So Shahan, we spoke to Amy Lee's family earlier today at their Thunderbell Park home and they are clearly still in shock about this 19-hour kidnapping ordeal that they went through but they are also extremely relieved to have Amy Lee back. We obviously asked her how Amy Lee is doing and they said very hungry and very tired but she's just glad to be around her family again and they are planning to send her to trauma counselling as soon as possible. But we spoke to her grandfather Christu earlier today and take a listen what he had to say. Family is uh, obviously still very shocked, uh, relieved in, in a great way. We are, we are, uh, we were knocked down yesterday and fortunately uh, God prevailed and uh, took us through this and brought Emily back. So yes, it's, uh, 
it's an amazing moment for us to stand here today with a with a positive message uh, and I don't even want to think about the negative side of it uh, we want to thank the whole of South Africa for the absolute great support that we received three Willie Jordan, 16, jokingly invited Jonas Brothers Band to come visit her at Penn State Children's Hospital, where she's receiving chemotherapy treatment for cancer. And lastly, we have a woman who opened her home to 97 stray dogs as Hurricane Dorian struck the Bahamas. 97. So as Hurricane Dorian continues to pummel the Bahamas, one woman is rounding up as many stray dogs as she can fit in her home. A total of 97 dogs were taken indoors. Chella Phillips operates a rescue called the Voiceless Dogs of Na Nassau, Bahamas. Chella is not an official rescue shelter or organization. She's not affiliated to the Humane Society and she doesn't receive any kind of help from the government. It's just her and her love for the homeless dogs of Nassau. Phillips posted, 97 dogs are inside my house and 79 of them are inside my master bedroom. It has been insane since last night. Poo and pee nonstop, but at least they're respecting my bed and nobody has dared to jump in. We have barricaded the refuge and nobody is outside. The music is playing in all directions of the house and the AC is blowing for them. She continued, I managed to bring some less fortunate ones and I really appreciate some of you donating for crates. I really needed it for the scared ones and the sick ones. So thank you. We may not get hit as hard as other islands. And the saddest part is that after the hurricane leaves the Bahamas, 
Some islands will take a long time to recover. Each island has an abundance of homeless dogs. My heart is so broken for the ones without a place to hide. A cat, five monster, and only God can protect them now. Thank you for thinking of us and praying for us. Since her post went viral, Phillips has been receiving donations from people all over the world. Another wonderful person. Okay, well, that's it for today. Have a great one.